Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and insights for Monday the 7th of August through until Sunday the 13th of August 2023. As we move into this week ahead, we are moving into the 8th of the 8th, which is the Lionsgate portal. Now the 8th of the 8th in numerology is the sign for infinity, the infinity sign. It is also a sign of the infinite potential us human beings have. It's, it's a gateway, it's an opening, a portal to access our divine right to be co-creators with the universe. It's a reminder of the power that we have to co-create with the universe. It's also a reminder to us that we are more than what we believe ourselves to be, that the power that we have within us and have access to universally is our, it's our birthright. It's our natural state of being. And the portal that is opening on the 8th of the 8th is the portal to the Sirius Gateway. Sirius is known and has been known for a long time as our spiritual sun. So the planet, that is the sun, provides us with the physical energy to create. We are provided life force from our physical sun. Sirius being our spiritual sun and it shines 26 times brighter than the actual sun planet. It is our spiritual sun. It washes us with spiritual energy. It is a portal that is opened that allows the highest vibration of spiritual frequency and energy to enter into our cellular structures, to enter into our physical form on a DNA level, to provide us with the opportunity to become a channel, to activate all of your chakra energy centers, it raises your vibration, your level of consciousness, and it also activates a psychic portal. So it's heightening your intuition. It's connecting you on the deepest level to the earth, to the heavens. And it is a form of spiritual rebirth you are literally being recharged on a cellular level with spiritual energy. It opens up your abilities to seek higher guidance from your higher self, from your soul, from your guides, from your loved ones in spirit, from your guardian angels. It represents your ancient connection to the earth and to our star brothers and sisters, to the star beings that you are genetically connected to, that their DNA is also a part of your DNA. This is also aligning with Venus going into retrograde on the 9th, actually entering into her retrograde. And as she is the planet of love, relationships, beauty, of all things in your life that you f find of value, what is it that you value in your life? And it's aligning in her retrograde, so retrograde is in Leo, square Uranus in Taurus. So Uranus is the planet of awakening. And this alignment on the back of the 
Lionsgate portal opening with this serious frequency and energy coming through to us. This is also going to provide you with a deeper sense of clarity of your life your relationships, your roles that you've played in all of your relationships. And it's also going to allow you to have a deeper understanding of yourself. And through that deeper understanding, it's opening your heart to love, to a deeper feeling of love, being able to experience and receive love at a deeper level, it's going to support you in deepening your love relationships, whether that's with your children, your parents, your friends, your partners, love for yourself. It's also a gateway and a softening to allow you to access the ability to forgive yourself and others. And you'll also find yourself It'll be a discovery, an aha moment of, you know what? I'm actually in a better place where I am in my life right now than where I was five years ago or 10 years ago. The person that I am today is in a much more powerful state of being, of self clarity, of recognizing or understanding yourself, wherever you are at on your healing journey. The Uranus combination here and alignment here is also allowing you to have your own awakening experience. And there's more than one. We don't just have one dark night of the soul. Well, I didn't. And a lot of people that I've worked with and spoken with and a lot of my spiritual friends are the same. It's not just one dark night of the soul and then a, an awakening that you have. We are multifaceted and multidimensional and therefore our capacity to dive deeply into our healing journey, our awakening journey, it's, it's almost like a roller coaster, it can feel like a roller coaster. But each time we go down the dip, when we come out, we go up higher. We go down, we come up higher. We go down, we come up higher. And what that means is, is that the growth that you experience as you go into the depths of whatever it is that you're experiencing, the resilience, the strength, the capacity for compassion, the capacity for self-actualization and self-discovery, it almost propels you to greater heights. And I'm being shown the Phoenix rising. So each time that you go through an experience in your life, and hopefully for you, it's not too many. You know, for you, it may just be a, a complete awakening, a, a realization, a recognition of who you are on a soul level that continues to propel you forward and gives you the strength and the spiritual strength, the emotional strength to be able to face whatever comes up for you in your life from a higher perspective, to have a higher perspective and a higher understanding, but also offers you the tools and the resources to be better equipped at handling whatever that may be. On the 13th, we have Sun conjunct Venus, which is called the Venus star point. Now, this is offering us so much in alignment with love, in alignment with deep understanding and clarity, in alignment with recognizing that you also, and it's symbolized geometrically as a rose. And if we think about the beauty of a rose, if we think about the fragrance of a rose, if we think about the perfection of the petals of a rose, and this is, again, it's aligned with the heart and like a rose blooming, your heart is blooming and opening 
to an, an additional awakening, awakening to the heart's wisdom, awakening to the truth that there is only love, that love is the most powerful force in the universe, that love can overcome all obstacles and that you are at different stages of your blooming, of your opening and unfurling and that there is beauty within you and when you allow yourself to recognize the beauty in you, the light in you, then that is mirrored to you in your external world. And again, this focuses on the areas of your life, of love, relationships, um, finances, things that you value. But it's also an opening to your higher consciousness, to vibrate the frequency of love for self and others, for the planet, for the for the miracle of the being that you are, that you are here on planet Earth at this time, for the soul that you are, in journeying through your human experience, experiencing the ups, the downs, the emotions, experiencing the pain and then the rising above that, experiencing the awakening to the strength and the powerful, incredible light that you are and that you're here to bring that light. And if all you do in this lifetime is shine your light to be able to experience love, to give and receive love, to be able to acknowledge the beauty in the world around you, to be able to be of value and value. That in itself is such an incredible gift to planet Earth and to the human collective. So for the energy of the week ahead, what can we tune into? What can further support us in navigating the energies of the week ahead? I'm being told that this is a powerful week to look to the stars, but also to seek the light, to see the light shifting, the different vibrations of the colors. The It's like hate when we see things in HD. So they're wanting you to allow yourself to be open to seeing beyond what your eyes reveal to you. Open your heart to see the magic and the beauty of the world around you. Sacred inner space. Oh, sacral chakra. This is so beautiful because I feel that this is also aligned to the frequency and the offerings of Venus. Tenderness and sensuality. You know, expressing yourself through love, expressing yourself through your creativity, expressing yourself and really tuning into that chakra of your sensuality, your sexuality and your creativity. And that combination will actually support you in amplifying your ability to manifest, to co-create with the universe. For your heart, Heart intention. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. How beautiful is that? And again, when we come from a place of love, when we come from a place of softening and acceptance of compassion, of allowing yourself to be open to the beauty of who you are, the beauty of the world around you. When you are in a state of alignment, connecting in with your heart, connecting in with your higher self, connecting in with all of your 
magic. You know, if we allow ourselves to be open to what could be possible, when we allow ourselves to be curious, when we allow ourselves to ask the questions, well, what else is there? What, what else? And thank you, universe, for revealing to me the hidden truths of myself and the world around me. Thank you, universe, for revealing to me your magic, your wisdom, your your growth, your abundance, your everything. When you have that openness and that curiosity and you're coming from a place of heart-centeredness, of love, not from lack, not from fear, not from uncertainty, then you align yourself to the flow of life. You align yourself to your divine pathway and opportunities open up for you. They turn up for you, literally. Phone calls, opportunities, conversations. This is, this is what I'm being shown, is there is a golden pathway available for you to step onto in, in this week ahead. And that's, the portal is opening. The portal to your heart portal to your soul, the portal to Sirius. And the beautiful Earth Connection Gaia, so the goddess of Gaia, is here to support you in staying grounded, to support you in integrating not only into your physical body and your spiritual body, but also into the Earth grids of a new earth when you allow yourself to receive the activations that are available to you. So connect with the earth this week because the more deeply rooted into the heart of the earth that you are, the higher your soul and your heart can soar into the ethers above. So I hope that those messages serve you well. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Blessed be. Bye.